My name is Karibro. Welcome back to Pokemon. Not Pokemon. I'm, how many times am I going to make that mistake? Welcome back to Ocarina of Time. Randomized. I don't have any of the gloves, so I can't lift any of these things yet. Where is it that I get the silver gauntlets again? I know that I get the gold ones in Ganon's castle. Silver gauntlets come from the spirit temple, right. That's not high enough. <sighs> I'll meet you guys again when I'm back up at the top of the canyon. <laughs> Yeah, actually, like, don't fast forward just yet because I, uh, I think I remember, like, there might be a Scarecrow song out here, and if there is, it's something that I could use to get this item much earlier than I should. Also, this might be a grave that I could open up and perhaps dive down into, and get a thing. Doesn't look like it. It looks like these guys are just shopkeepers. Do I have to shoot them with an arrow as an adult? Because my shield is just breaking their nuts. Let's try it. Yes, okay, so that's how you get them up this way. And knock it off, sell you arrows, okay. So it's just merchants, it's not actually anything cool. Gotta verify everything. Hello, crow. Little flying bastards. Okay. And uh, what I need to do here is fire an arrow into the morning light. I believe that's what this plaque here says. Let's give this a quick read. When water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. I might be able to do it before water fills the lake, but let's give it a shot. Um, I need to sun song it a couple times so that I can uh, get it around to morning again. There we go, nice and slow. Because it might be that the hint is saying, like, the water has to fill the lake in order for you to get this item. Normally. So if I do this now, haha, -ha, it does spawn. And it appears to be... some rando-ass little chest. Okay. My long shot doesn't look like it's going to be enough to get me there, but I... I think this is also a Scarecrow Song location. Like, how to access it, from what angle, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look around a bit with Navi. I definitely read that this is a tip. There! 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 Navi just went up! Oh my god, that's a really weird place to have to stand. But it's another possibility, so... Let's get back up there again, and now I'll actually take it really slow. Okay, good, the chest is still there. I was like, oh, holy shit, did it despawn on me? Okay, nice and slow. Take it slow. Take it nice and s Yeah, yeah, Navi, I don't care. Let's go inside the Dudongo's Cavern. Thanks, Navi. Okay, good, good. And then, here, I will... My shitty little scarecrow song, cool. Aha! Long shot, long shot, are you close enough? Oh my god, you fuck. Yes! Oh yes, he did not show up. Okay, good, good, there's another thing. What is the thing? Damn it. Ultimately useful, but not one of the critical items that I want to be able to progress. Cut to Gerudo's Valley now.
Hmm, god damn, this song will be with me forever till till I die. I'm a master craftsman! Those Drudel thieves, they broke the bridge! I wanna fix it, but all my workers are gone! They said working as coppers isn't cool, and they went to the Gerudo's fortress to become thieves! Hey you, if you're going to the fortress, would you mind finding out what my workers are doing over there? <laughs> Love that guy's shriek. Okay. So I don't think that he's got anything inside his tent here, but we'll check. Hey, what up, postman? I'm the wandering running man. I've run all over this land in search of competitors who have a true killer instinct. I came here to run through the haunted wasteland, but it doesn't look like good timing for that. So I want to go back to Hyrule Field, the bridges, well, you can see it from here, so I'm stuck here inside this tent. I don't think I can accept your challenge right now, heh <laughs> I can't remember if he actually gives you anything, or if, like, no, like, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what you do, he will always beat you by, like, one second. So... I don't remember if there's actually anything to, like, doing his challenge. Like I said, I've never 100% completed this game, so I don't know where everything is. But that's not the important part right now. The important part is that we're in the place with the bestest tunes in the game that is in large part about music. And there's stuff and things here. Wonderful stuff and things, and we can get these stuff and things. Although it might be a while until we get access to the big area where most of the stuff and things are, and where you need, like, a bunch of extra items to get everything? Oh, man, we might not be able to get a lot in there now that I'm thinking about it. Because these dudes don't actually have chests in there. You get the key from, like, defeating their jailers. I have no idea where you come from, but you must have a lot of guts to make it past all the guards around here. All my fellow carpenters are in prison somewhere in here. If you can get us out of here, we'll repair the favor somehow. Be careful, there's sure to be Gerudo guards somewhere around here. Woo, watch out! Hey, baby, how's it going? If I impress you with my swordsmanship, any chance you will give me the key to let that guy out? He just came here looking for a little bit of adventure in his life, alright? He's not worth a whole lot to you girls, although, actually... Now that I think about it, it's probably not money that you're after, is it? Uh, to, to any of you guys, uh, okay, who've, uh, okay, who've, who've played, uh, like, one of the more recent Zelda games, like, or Breath of the Wild, you might remember that uh, Gerudo are an all-female race of uh, people. And, uh... Well, they still need to procreate somehow, so guess how they do it. They kidnap men, they use their dicks as tools. <laughs> That's what they want these guys for. Got myself a small key. Go! You're free! Free from the hours upon days upon weeks of laborious sex with beautiful desert women! Oh. Can, can I stay here for just a little while? <laughs> no. No, you can't. Be free! Run back to your master! That old... gross dude who just wants you to work on bridges all day. In the hot sun. For probably pennies. Your life was better there. I can absolutely see these uh, workers preferring death by snoo snoo. Okay, so you walk away, and then I can sneak up here. I remember that the place isn't, like, too terribly complicated, but there is gonna have to be a little bit of backtracking. Come on, come on, come on, come on, break the pot! Oh, I... I'm full on hearts and money, why am I breaking pots? What up, dude? I have no idea where you come from, must have a lot of guts, I'm gonna fill a carpenter's in prison somewhere, get us out of here, we'll pay the favor somehow, woo, watch out! There's another crazy sexy lady behind you. <laughs> Ooh. That is the first time I've ever done that. Like, cut her down out of her spinning attack. 
That attack is terribly dangerous. It can go through your shield if she hits you at the right angle. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, rolled right into the sword. Got it. Another key. Okay, cool. Let's release this dude. We're making progress. We're making progress. You're a cute kid. Thanks for coming. Save me. I'm Jira the Carpenter. These women are so scary. I'd rather work as a carpenter than join them. Can't wait to say goodbye to this place. Two of my buddies are still being held prisoner. How do you know that I've already released one? Unless you're all psychically linked. It could be. There's weirder stuff in Zelda games. Okay, the hover boots make that run much easier. Hello, girls. How's it going? <laughs> Staring right at me. Though I think you can also use the hook shot to make it over here. Good. I don't think there's anything down there that I really need. In fact, I'm pretty sure that that entrance from last time that I didn't take, like, just leads into this kitchen. So we might have eliminated a backtrack route. I can't remember if there's anything in there for when you get caught. I don't think so, but ooh. That's a chest. We'll get there in due time. For now, that takes me that spits me out here. I've already been on that ledge with the grass. I think this entrance might want me to come in down here. Yeah, because there's no other way to get to this door. Oh, shit. Fuck, I remember this. There's gonna be a lady that walks through here. It's very tempting... Yeah. ...to just run out, but you'll get yourself caught. You gotta wait a second so you can shoot her in the neck with an arrow. And, uh, you know, take her out of commission. <laughs> Yes, this is absolutely supposed to be the last jail that you find. That's why there's no other way out of it. Hello, Carpenters in prison. Woo, watch out. Ow. God damn. Every time she clangs off me, she, like, goes too far back for me to counterattack. And I don't want to push her too far out there. That's not going to work for nobody. Come on! Ah, ah. Okay, okay, okay. Didn't get taken out. It was close, though. Yes! Got her. Is it weird to say that I've, like, always liked and appreciated, like, the heavy panting that those, like, that the swords ladies, the guardsmen, do when you're fighting them? They're, like, the only enemies in the game that actually give some indication that, like, they're physically exerted by the battle with you, and I really like that touch. They're not the only enemies that make some noise when you fight them, of course. But, like, nobody else is quite so, like, strained about it. Saburu, one of our workers, is still captured. Let's go find him, then. Although I've done this a little bit out of order now, since, uh... I've never encountered this spot last. So where haven't I been? In here? I don't think I've been in here. This might be a lead. Hey, what do you know? It's the last one. Perfect. Excellent. No idea where they are, Gerudo. Yo, let's go. I should have put my shield up. <laughs> That was just being stupid. 
Oh, your sisters were much better at this than you. Oh my god, camera, come on. Come on, work with me. Come on, come on. Do the move. Perfect opening to get in a jump attack of your own. And that is all four of them released. Good, good. I was afraid you were going to forget about me. No, free. I'm sure the carpenter. I'll tell you something interesting. They said in order to cross the haunted wasteland, you'll need the Eye of Truth. The Colossus is on the far side of the wasteland. So I can't get to the Spirit Temple without having the lens. Now I'm going back to my tent near Gerudo Valley to drop by sometime. Well, I technically could if, like, if I had the route absolutely memorized, but I don't. I've seen your fine work. To get past the guards here, you must have some good thieving skills. I used to think that all men besides the great Ganondorf were useless, but now that I've seen you, I don't think so anymore. The exalted Naburu, our leader, put me in charge of this fortress. Naburu is the second in command of the great Ganondorf, king of the Gerudo thieves. Her headquarters are in the Spirit Temple, which is at the end of the desert. Say, you must want to become one of us, eh? All right then, you're in from now on. Take this. With it, you'll be able to have free access to all areas of the fortress. Gerudo's membership card! Huzzah! I also, like, really like this one. Even though she seems to have, like, a little bit of a problem with the skinning on her feet there. Sorry, that's the first thing that I looked at. But, like, her coloration is different than all of the other Gerudos that you see here, too. There's no other ones that you meet that wear blue. So, like, I don't know if she has, like, a, a specific name or what, but... Damn it! But, like, I like her. She always stood out to me. Also, the fact that she just ninjas her way in front of the cell. Like, you just watch the dude run out of the cell, and then you'd snap back, and she's just there. And you're like, whoa, where the hell do you come from? Oh, yeah, she's also one of the future widows that don't wear a face mask. So that's another thing that uh, makes her stand out. You'll find the spirit temple where the exalted Nuburu lives out in the desert. If I had Epona, I could do the archery challenge at the end of this road. Because there's an archery challenge and it's great fun, but I don't, so I'm just gonna have to do my best to like scrounge up some goodies inside the uh inside the training grounds here with the lady who has white lipstick guarding it. <laughs> this is Gerudo's training ground. Membership card verified. One try for ten rupees. Alright, I'll take your ten rupees, give you your best shot. I am not going to get everything in here, because to get everything you have to have like the golden gauntlets from Ganondorf's fortress or something. There's a lot of shit in here that you just can't get your first time. In fact, I even remember once being like locked out of getting everything here. There is a heart piece that you get at the end of like a maze of keys. But when I was a kid, I seem to recall that there was a certain order you could spend them in that would like completely fuck you and that Sorry, you just can't finish the dungeon anymore, so give me a half sec. I'm gonna look that up and verify it. Okay, so I'm not finding anything that says it's possible to soft lock, so let's give it a shot here and see what we can uncover. First chest right off the bat. Okay, bam. Because, like, according to the tracker here, there are 13 of the fuckers in this place, so we're gonna get some good shit. Like a small key. Good way to get started. Hey, there's also like 14 small keys in here. You need to get access to like the good prominent item at the very end. So like, yeah, good shit in here. We're going to get some good shit. A bundle of arrows. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. We're getting rid of, rid of some of the garbage uh, right out the gate. Not sure what this is. I don't think this is what this is, but I just want to verify. Yeah, okay, so... It's probably not the Song of Time either, but, you know, gotta run through my list of options. 
Not that either. Okay. So let's head off to the left first and see what we can uncover. Yeah, I have a minute to beat all the enemies in this room. Nice, satisfying little loop there on the Stelphos. <laughs> awesome! Wow, that went incredibly smoothly. Link, do not get yourself stuck in the sand. That'd be a bad idea right now. Hey, a full heart container is actually, like, not bad. It's definitely better than a piece of heart. Still not, like, one of the critical items that I'd really love to have, but it's a good. It's a good. So I need this. And then I need to not get crushed, because if I get crushed, I think it resets the timer. Oh, great. There's also wall masters in here. Awesome. Um, okay, so that's a shortcut way back up there. Let's use that. Bam. Oh, wait. Shoot. Sorry. Um, I've got... What was that? One small key, a bundle of arrows, and a heart thing. So I need to make sure that I'm knocking down the chest count here. Because there is not a compass in here. I'm actually going to be relying on that counter this time. There should be one down here, right? Yes. And that's three out of five, question mark? It's weird, the wall masters keep getting like interrupted. I can hop across here, bam. God damn it, so where's the other two? Oh, okay, so that's one. I might lose this the first time. Although I do seem to recall that there's one... No, there's not. I thought that there would be one at the top of one of... Oh, wait, maybe? Yes, there is. Gimme! Yes, with like two seconds left. Okay, okay. Hop across. Fun fact, if you are on a hook shot, you can go through the flames like your... Your, uh, yeah, your body can touch the flames and you won't take damage for it. Come on, Wolfie. You guys actually waste more time than the Stalfos do because the Stalfos don't have perfect guards and you assholes do. Come on. Come on, do the thing. Good. Um, I don't have the silver gauntlet, so I can't actually move this thing. Which sucks. And one of these uh, white wolves shows up as a boss at the end of the ice cave, so this is like supposed to not not supposed to be the first time you see them. Come on, come on. Come at, come at me, beast! Okay, good. So that's one chest, but that might be as much as we can get right now. This fake door. Do not, uh, do not touch that door. Yeah, okay. So it's a small key, don't have the gauntlets, can't push that. We might be able to get a chest or two in the other direction out of, uh, the main room. Yeah, yeah, uh... Like, but this episode is, uh, like, going a little bit on the long side, what with all the running around. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna do Joel a favor here, and I'm gonna... <coughs> excuse me, burp right into the microphone. I know how you like that, buddy. I'm gonna call this episode here. Next time, we'll go through here, figure out what's on the other side of this, see if maybe it's anything that's actually worth goddamn while, and then try to suss out where to go from there. Like buttons down below, consider subscribing if you guys are not already, bell icon for future notifications, all that kind of good stuff, and uh, yeah, next time, uh, Lion's Mouth.